Hey friends, if you're looking for quick tips to help you jumpstart your week, you are in the right place. I'm Lori Palau, host of the popular weekly podcast, Organized Life, founder of Simply Be Organized. And every Monday, I am here to bring you a quick organizing tip in under 15 minutes. All you have to do is click the subscribe or follow button wherever you're listening, and let's get started. everybody, welcome to today's tip of the week. I am your host, Lori Palau, and I'm so happy that you're here. Today, we're going to be talking about decluttering cosmetics. But before we get into that, I just want to talk for a second about this new segment that we're going to be launching on This Organized Life on our Thursday episodes, and it's called an Ask an Expert series. And what that is, is essentially like a call-in show. So maybe you have a question out there about decluttering or organizing or podcasting or running your own professional organizing business. Anything that we talk about here could be the Enneagram. I don't know, whatever you're interested in, we want to answer your questions because one of the things that I often miss from our podcasting is I'm in your ear all the time, but you're not in mine. And so I want to try to help bridge the gap between that disconnect. And so we're creating this new segment called Ask an Expert. The link is going to be in the show notes. So if you have a question, it's super, super simple. All you have to do is fill that out, ask your question. We'll set up a time for, there's a calendar link in there. You could set up a time that works for you. We will record on Zoom a 20-minute conversation where you get to ask your question and I get to answer it. And then we're going to be sharing that with our This Organized Life community. Um, Because what I always say is if you've got a question, chances are hundreds, if not thousands of other people have that question too. And so we want to hear from you. This is totally free. Um, you're just agreeing to be on our show. Again, we could change names. We can blur you out. So you don't even have to have your face on YouTube if you don't want to. But again, it's a way for us to have you be part, part of our show in a more intimate way. So again, it's called an Ask an Expert series. We're piloting this right now. We're going to see how it goes. So I need you guys to help promote that. I need you guys to fill that link out ask your question, um, share the link with your friends. Again, it's free and super easy to, um, to do. So again, I hope you guys take advantage of this opportunity and you get to chat with me. So that's super fun. Um, anyway, okay. Back to today's episode, we're talking all about decluttering cosmetics and by cosmetics, I'm specifically referring to three specific areas, your makeup, your hair care, Do you have like hair stuff and also like your skincare? So that could be lotions, uh, body washes, soaps, anything like that. Um, It's a pretty broad spectrum, but I think for me, I know I just got some new makeup and I also got some new hair care. And so I was looking at the space that I have that I store my stuff and I was like, oh, it's getting a little crowded and I really don't need a lot of this stuff. Plus things which people don't often realize things like makeup and hair care, but specifically makeup and skincare, they have an expiration date. And sometimes we have stuff that we've had for a long time that we don't always go through. Cause maybe you have like six or eight different lipsticks. And so you rotate around and before you know it, you've got a lipstick that's like several years old. And quite frankly, there's like bacteria and stuff that grows in it. So we want to talk about what What are some ways that you can easily go through that? Um, Like I always say, step one is start small. Pick an area. So we're not going to do all three of them at once. You're going to start with one thing. And if you're a makeup junkie, like I'm not a huge makeup junkie, so I don't have hundreds and tons and tons of stuff. But if you're like, wow, I'm an accumulator. I'm a consumer of all different kinds of makeup or beauty products. Pick a category, right? You don't have to do it all at once. Be like, okay, I'm going to go through my lotions. You know, I know, especially um, around the holidays when you get like Bath and Body Works or whatever, and they have all these specials. And a lot of times you either get them as gifts or you just buy them for yourself um, because they're kind of like, they're not always super expensive. And so you can accumulate a lot. And then stuff you either try it, you don't like the scent or you don't like the way it feels, or maybe you broke out from it. 
get rid of it. So just go through, pick a category and just say, I'm going to go through this. When was the last time? First of all, is it even still good? That's the first and foremost, right? It, just like you would with a food, you want to say, is this thing expired? And if the answer is yes, ditch it. You don't want anything that's expired going on to your largest organ of your body, which is your skin. So get rid of it. And if it's something that you really like, just replace it, but just get rid of it. The second thing that I want you to do is to just get rid of anything that you um, that you don't like or use or wear anymore. Maybe there was a time when you were into blue, you know, eyeshadow, and now you're not. So there's no reason to hold on to it. Um, just get rid of those things. So if you are like, I'm not really wearing this, or I don't like this brand, or this is, you know, not something I'm, I'm into, or I bought this hair product because I was really into this one gel and now I don't use it anymore. I use this other mousse or whatever it is. Get rid of it. Just don't eat. If you don't have somebody else that's going to be using it, there's no reason for it to be taking up real estate. And again, that goes true with your, with, you know, your, any lotions or soaps. Maybe there's things, maybe you're like, you know what? I used to use this particular brand. Then I switched over to something else. It's okay if you want to have a few different options. I know I rotate my shampoos. I have a couple of different ones. So it's fine to have a little bit of variety, but you don't need 20 of everything. You don't need 10 of everything. I think three is a nice, nice healthy number if you want to rotate. I have two different shampoos and conditioners, like two different brands that I'll that I'll uh, cycle through. But I think no more than three for any person. Um, and the same with your soap. You, and one is fine. Like if you're just like, I like this shampoo and conditioner and that's what I use. Great. I like this particular lipstick and that's what I use. Great. But I don't think you need to, but if you do just say, Hey, sometimes I like to change and to use this eyeshadow palette versus a different one. It's okay to have some variety. I just don't think unless you're in that particular profession where you're doing this for a living or you're an artist where you're constantly, um, you know, an actor and you're constantly going into a costume, that's different. But for the everyday person, keeping things really simple, keeping your categories somewhat tight, where that you're only having the things that are in rotation that you are currently using. The shampoos, the uh, styling treatments. I actually just went through a drawer that I had like an old curling iron that I don't even use anymore because I have a new, like the hair wand. And I was like, you know what? I'm not even, I'm getting rid of this because I don't use it. It's just taking up space in my drawer. Um, this can also go, again, I'm starting to kind of branch out, but if you're in your drawer, like with your hair care, look at your brushes. Are your brushes shot? Are the bristles shot? Get rid of them, replace them. It's okay. These are things that are our cosmetics and by cosmetics, again, I mean, makeup, hair care, skincare, we're probably using on a regular, if not on a daily basis, certainly a few times a week basis. So it's going to take a beating. Things are going to get, you know, worn and need to be replaced and that's okay. So we want to just make sure that we're doing this periodically. It's not something that you have to do all the time. Certainly if you're like, okay, I'm done with this. I can get it out, but I would try to do it a couple times a year, maybe, um, to switch those things out on a routine basis. Like I said, I was just in a, in a phase the other day where I said, you know what? I'm kind of, you know, I don't like the mascara I have. I don't like this eyeliner. I want to kind of freshen my makeup up. I want to kind of just get a whole new thing. And so I went, I, I, I itemized what is it that I'm, what I want to replace. So I went in there, went into the store or online knowing I wasn't going to do any crazy impulse buys. The, this is what I'm looking for. And once I bought them, I replaced them. I got rid of the old stuff. I just ditched it and um, didn't take up any more space. And as a matter of fact, I was able to even create more space by streamlining things that I bought. I bought uh, like a tool, this beauty tool that I thought I was going to use. I never used it. So I was like, you know what? This can go because it's just taking up space. So every now and again, go through your cosmetics drawer, figure out what you're using, what you're not using, what's expired, what's not, and just do a little clean house of those areas. 
That's it. That's your tip for today. Um, remember, check out a link in our show notes for the Ask an Expert series. I would love to hear from you. I can't wait to hear what kind of questions you guys have. And again, no questions stupid or silly or irrelevant. I mean, really, really interested in how I can bring more consistent value to you guys and connect with you because again, you guys get to be, in, I get to be in your ear and I don't get to chat with you. So we want to try to even that playing field. Until next week, I'm Lori Palau. Have a great week. Peace out. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this episode, please spread the love and share it with your friends. And if this is your first time joining us, make sure to click the subscribe button wherever you are listening so you never miss an episode. And while you're there, please leave us a review so other people know that our show is worth the listen. You can also find us on YouTube and Instagram at This Organized Life Podcast. And if you'd like to connect with us, you can head on over to our website at simply the letter B, like boy, organized.com, which is filled with tons of resources, including free downloads, checklists, links to our amazing organizing partners, and all of our digital offerings. I'll see you next week for another episode of This Organized Life.